Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Good morning, it's 6.42 and something everyone will notice on their way into the office this morning is that fog out there, Corey. Yeah, not easy to miss, that is for mm -hmm. sure. And it is fairly dense, but so the weatherwise question today has to deal with fog. And it's about when, or, do we, or what month is dense fog most common? Pretty straightforward. And the options are January, April, August, or October. Is this the foggiest month of the year? Or is it another month? It's one of these four. Think about it for a second. Dense fog advisory continues for until 9 o'clock this morning across the entire TV9 viewing area. Low visibility in many cases, but be ready for some changing conditions. So even if you find yourself leaving your home in an area where visibility is good, things could change along your route. And so do plan for that extra time. Right now, zero visibility reported across most of the area along and north of Highway 20, even in Washington, too, quarter mile in Cedar Rapids, at least at the observing stations at the airport. The uh, Your local area may vary just a little bit, but overall the picture is of a fairly foggy start. But it will be a fairly quick end to that fog. Notice by about 8 to 10 o'clock this morning is when things really start to rapidly diminish. I think that seems like a pretty good uh, timeline there, especially by lunchtime we should be pretty clear of visibility concerns. So that's why your first alert, we highlight the fog here in orange for that dense potential between now and about 9 and then getting better after that. Otherwise, we're expecting things to stay fairly decent even into tonight. So our Marion City Cam shows a very gray picture of foggy skies, visibility reduced in Marion. Temperatures in the upper 60s, dew points right along that same line. So we're still fairly muggy out there too. And with lighter winds today, we still will feel that humidity, especially as things start to warm up. And they will because we'll see more sun today than we did yesterday. Clouds kind of saved us from warmer temperatures. But today and tomorrow will both feel more like Monday and Tuesday did this week. So a little bit on the warm side, especially in the afternoon, but much more tolerable than one week ago where we were talking excessive heat warnings and heat index concerns, especially on Friday when it just got beastly hot. Otherwise, as we head toward tonight, we're going to keep things relatively quiet and into tomorrow to start, but later in the day on Friday into Friday night is when we could start to see an expansion of some shower and storm activity. This is after midnight heading towards Saturday morning where we could see some of that start to develop. Now today we'll have temperatures reaching the 80s with 86 in Manchester, 87 in Charles City, 89 in Iowa City, foggy then turning partly cloudy. We'll keep it warm tomorrow. Again, close to 90 across most of the area. Mid 80s on Saturday as we see a bit of cloud cover keeping us a bit cooler. Some shower and storm activity during that time as well. Sunday, more of the time to watch for the potential for strong or severe weather. We'll be keeping a close eye on it too. It's going to depend on the timing of a cold front moving through. Otherwise, that cold front ushers in cooler conditions. Upper 70s to low 80s for highs next week, as well as lows 60 or even in the upper 50s at times. Your weatherwise question today, it's a foggy start. What month is the dense, is dense fog most common? Is it winter, spring, is it summer, or is it fall? What time of the year do you think is the foggiest? I think spring, I'll go be April. Yeah, okay. I was going to say be April as well. April's actually kind of interestingly not the right answer. It's January uh, where we have a lot of moisture in the air because of snow on the ground. We get some snow melting that contributes. So January the foggiest, but August is the second foggiest month so of the April's year. April's not even. April's actually the uh, least foggy close. month well, of the completely year. Completely opposite. I know, I know, but I don't blame you for thinking that way because it's a cooler month and it's sort of transitioning to more humid conditions. This month, I think we get the effect of very humid conditions and the nights get a little bit longer, so we're really able to cool off a little bit more. So we see some of these foggy mornings. This is the first one. We'll see how many we wind up with this month as we go through it. Yeah, learned a lot today, right? Thanks, Corey. <laughs>